Faster Than Light, a sweeping space opera following the scrappy crew composed of the last vestiges of the Federation bravely fighting against the overwhelming force of a rebellion. One craft carrying the secret weakness of the Rebel flagship must fight and sneak its way through star systems to bring this terrible uprising to heel. You might say that historically, rebellions rely on an oppressive government to be successful, as people tend to need a reason to go through the rather unpleasant rigmarole of civil war. And considering that this federation was an empire on a galactic level, that it must have been a pretty shitty place to live to allow such manpower to be levied against it. At which point, I would execute you for treason. Let's meet our crew. Enrique is a philosopher looking to prove God is dead, and failing that, kill the fucker himself. He calls himself a scientist, and unfortunately everyone qualified enough to tell him to fuck off has been killed by the revolution. Sarah Halley and Sandra Enki are a couple who didn't fill out the HR forms before the violent collapse of the Federation, so they're keeping it on the DL. And this is Roger. Roger watches YouTube videos instead of interacting with the rest of the crew, who like him, in theory. Ah, uh, the cold void of space. Beautiful. Silent. Deadly. Like a joke that I am pretending to be too high class to make. It won't be quiet forever, though. I'm sure we'll run into some scum soon. Oh my. See? The game even agrees with me. We are, of course, the good guys, so we won't engage with the slave- <coughs> <Ooh>. Well, <laughs> well, I, I mean, we'd be killing him if we left him on their ship. And he is free. Monetarily, anyway. Pardon? What's that? You're saying that I should destroy the slavers now? That does sound like a good idea. If you want to be rude, that is. Honestly, good guys aren't rude, so let's just take our slave and go on our merry way. This is Brian. Brian wasn't allowed to develop a personality growing up for, uh, slave-related reasons. His hobbies involve not having access to therapy because the Empire privatized health insurance. He goes to the room without oxygen and fixes holes. Everything is on fire! This is probably Brian's fault! A, a surrender? No! The Empire doesn't accept surrender! We crush all in our way! Like good guys! Jesus! Shitting Christ, that hurt! Brian, stop healing your useless body and start fixing the fucking ship! <sighs> okay, 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 we're good. We're safe. Brian, get in the fire room and either fix it or fucking immolate! Alright, looks like we've got some time to breathe. God, I mean, sorry, Enrique. By God's bloated corpse. The Empire's only been defeated for 20 minutes. We haven't even run into a rebel ship, and we're already dying. Ah, oh, well, onwards and upwards, or whatever the space equivalent of up is. We're facing a choice right now. There's two hostile sectors. One is full of rock people, and one is abandoned. Technically, rock people is a slur, but it's what their class does in all Empire scouting material. It's fine. Hallie's a rock person. She's practically given us the R-word pass. She'll also be our liaison as we talk to the rock people. What's that? I, what? I, I don't know what just... Do rock people get periods? I feel like you're on your period right now. You're very sensitive. Okay. Okay. Okay, for some reason, Hallie and Enki aren't talking to me. Fucking rock people, I swear to g- mm. Sorry. To God's worm-riddled cadaver. I guess we're going to the abandoned sector then. Oh. A healing weapon. Incredible, turning missiles into kindness, just like the Empire. We must never shed this symbol of our magnanimous society. And what's this? More slavers! Excellent! We need more crew- mm, I mean, we can eradicate yet more scum from the galaxy. 
This is Stephen. Stephen's parents were rabid Harry Potter fans, so decided to see if they could make their own Harry by locking their son in a cupboard. He isn't magic, but he has an odd obsession with doors. Well, at least I know where to put him. What's that, you're asking? If his parents were such big Harry Potter fans, why didn't they call him Harry? Look, they might have been utterly insane, but even they weren't insane enough to provoke Warner Brothers lawyers. Now to leave this system and... Oh. Oh no. That, that's the Rebel Fleet. I appear to have fucked myself. Ah oh, well, if we die, we do it in glory. Steven, you seem nice. Odd that you still like Harry Potter, but I'm not a therapist. I'm not going to try and deal with that. Roger, I don't know what George not found is, but it sounds parasocial. Enrique, read some fucking Nietzsche. Enki, tell Hallie she's too sensitive. And Brian, can, can you clean the toilets before we all die? I know it's my turn, but I've got this um, thing in, in my back. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Huh. That was easier than I thought. Ah, uh, well, at least I didn't have to clean out the toilets. Invaders? But that's our job! Cut off their line of escape. We'll see how they act once we're their only way out. And there. Your ship is destroyed. You have no choice but to join our crew now. See how helpful we are? We're such good pe- Oh, no. They'd apparently rather die. Are we the baddies? No, 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 the Empire is good and just. See, there's a refugee ship. We'll of course help. We don't really need missiles right now, and we only have enough fuel for like 20 more jumps, and oh my god, we're the bad guys. Everyone, change of plans. Viva la revolution! We must get to the flagship to tell them of the glaring weakness in their defenses. The Empire cannot be allowed to reassert control. What? No, no, Brian, this doesn't mean you can get off toilet duty. Now get back to scrubbing! <sighs> Fucking Brian, honestly. The fleet has almost caught up to us. Finally, we can tell them everything- Wait, why are they attacking us? Oh. Oh, of course, they're not going to listen to us. We're the enemy. The bad guys. Which means there's only one way to prove this weakness to them, crew. We have to take down the flagship. Onward! We're really the good guys now. No more slaving. We hire crew like normal, good people. Now, which of these dirty, filthy, slug fucks should we hire? This is Emma. She seems to have bonded with Hallie over something. I'm not sure what, though. Slugs are renowned for being thieving, mind-controlling things. I'm sure she'll tear Hallie and Enki apart with her terrible ways. Huh. Apparently, they're all getting along famously. And as rogue agents, we don't need to bother with HR forms anymore, so all three of them are going all PDA all over the place. The aliens. We need money. And what better to sell than the accursed symbol of the piteous empire? The healing gun. There is no need for healing in our righteous pursuit of judgment in our crusade. Brian, get this filthy thing off the ship. This is it, the final stand. Finally, we shall ensure the Rebellion's rule over the terrible Empire. Onwards! The Rebels shall rise in glory. See how they run! Now, now they know their weaknesses. We must press forward. Yes! We have taken down even more now. Now they understand what must be done. But, wait. Just because the Empire was evil doesn't mean the revolution will be any better. I don't know who leads it. I don't know what corruption may lie deep within them. I mean, the wiki says they're human supremacists. Imagine being racist. The structures of power are inherently going to create inequality amongst all people. But look at us. A crew made of all, well, almost all, races in the galaxy. And if we take down the rebels, 
we'll be heroes. Together, we can unite the galaxy, reform it in our own image, a kinder image. And sure, it won't last forever, but it will be glorious for however long it does. Brian, I see now that I was wrong about you. You are a person. Hallie, Enki, Emma, your love is beautiful, and I'm sorry for assuming that you're all as bad as the rest of your species. Stephen, I don't care what my Hogwarts house is, but you do, and that is beautiful. Or it would be if you weren't oddly reserved about telling J.K. Rowling to fuck off. Enrique, God let the Empire exist. If he is alive, you'll be able to raise an army against him. And Roger, Roger is still in his room. He's been blaring some song called Heat Waves on repeat ever since we started fighting the flagship, but well, at least he's happy. Now, onwards to victory!